Hello friends, Silvio here. The topic for today, tips. Today I'm smoking this vintage rope. It is a stubby billiard. It is full of bird's eye. As you can see. And it is probably my lightest pipe. It is so light. It has a stinger, of course. And in it, I'm smoking Bob's Chocolate Flake. One of my all time favorite tobaccos. Virginia Burley, cocoa, vanilla, whiskey. And that's about it. No Lakeland essence. But you already knew that. And I forgot my temper. I'll be back. It is a Virginia Burley and it has 8% Latakia. It is a great tobacco. So for today, I will just repeat a few tips. Before you pack your pipe, puff, puff it empty a little bit to see how it draws. Then pack your pipe, it doesn't matter how, and press it until you feel a little bit of resistance. Usually I'm looking for a little bit more resistance. You know, I pack my pipes pretty tightly. Then light your pipe and try to use your temper as little as possible. That is the secret. How do I use my temper? First of all, I'm using it to light my pipe, like this. I cover the pipe and move it, it around and spread that powerful heat that will ignite the tobacco very well. So first tip is light your pipe well from the beginning, very well. If needed, use the lighter again. Don't go directly for the temper. Let the, the tobacco flourish and it needs oxygen for it to burn. So when you have enough, enough ashes, then and only then use your temper. So use it just to tap the ashes, never to to arrange your tobacco. I know that we all want a perfectly flat surface. I don't know why, but it is true. But you don't have to have a perfectly flat surface to, to smoke your pipe. Another thing, do not fill your pipe all the way. Leave a little space for the tobacco to, to rise. 
Now, how do I use my damper? So I cover the pipe with it. I use it as a damper, but more, more importantly, to spread the burning embers around and uh, light my pipe well, like this. Look how well it's burning now. So, this move it round and round. For your English blends, open the tin, pack one pipe, but with the rest, put it on a tray or a piece of paper and open the strands of tobacco very well and expose them to air you know then put it in a bigger jar i will show you i'll be back look how i keep my english blends of course it can be it here but never in a small jar pressed the way they were in the latakia needs oxygen sometimes i move it around like this to get more oxygen inside and leave it for a few weeks then you will have the actual right experience with an english blend Now, I hear a lot of people saying that it is not good for the pipe to open it while you're smoking. Why not? If you need to put a pipe cleaner inside and why not? You know why? Because you don't do this. Take care of your pipes and make them all work well for you. Don't leave a pipe if, if it is very tight. Don't use it like that. One day it will crack for sure. Take sandpaper. Let's say this pipe. See how easy. You don't need a very tight fit. Take sandpaper, put it around here like this and do this until you will have a nice fit. Maybe sometimes you need to put crayon here to lubricate the stem. Every time I clean my pipes, I take the crayon and put crayon here. Now, if you have a pipe that it is too loose, what do we do? We hit this part and we heat it and we, we are carefully not to, to ignite, okay? We heat it well, we heat it well. Then we push it against something hard, like this. You push it like this, okay? Against, of course, the table, like this, or against something hard. If you did it too much, you take the sandpaper and you do again until you have a nice fit like this. That's it. That is all, like this. See? I'm smoking this pipe. Look. See? Look. Why not? Why to be should we be scared to open the pipe while we're smoking? And you guys that are smoking uh, nine millimeter filter pipes you have no worries about that i've opened the pipes while smoking five times if needed while smoking for 23 years those pipes don't have very thick walls here thick enough to break the stem never and uh, 
Savinelli usually makes that part from a, a rubber. If you press it, you will see how how uh, easy it is to, to press it. You know, it's very, very soft. How do I choose the pipe for what tobacco? Big bowls for English blends because they are much lighter. Latakia has the less nicotine of all. So although you might have a tobacco that it is full body because this is how Latakia feels it doesn't mean it is strong in nicotine. So, small balls for flakes, ropes, for um, um, plugs, and big balls, especially for Latakia or, or coarse cut. This is the rule, a good rule. Big cut, big ball. Small cut, when you rub a flake and it is very, the cut is very thin, small ball, big cut, big ball, simple as that. Now, do I designate pipes? for type of, types of tobacco? No, of course not. I've heard the other day, man, this pipe small, smokes well burlies. So you mean that if you have the same cut, the same flake, the same way of tobacco, but it's not burly, it's other thing. You mean that it won't smoke, smoke it as well? Maybe you should try it. Maybe it is pseudoscience, in my opinion. So it's not about what tobacco is, type of tobacco, it's about the cut. See, this will uh, fool you in thinking that this is a burly made pipe or something like that. No, it's not. Do I have special pipes for uh, Lakelands and something like that? Of course not. I had no problems in 23 years. For 13 years, I had only one pipe. This pipe, the Brody Joe pipe, Stanwell pipe. For 13 years, I smoked Vio Larsen hard aromatics, hard aromatic tobacco and all the hard aromatics you can imagine for 13 years it's still my best filtered pipe still my best filtered pipe now if a pipe has it is ghosted with something that you don't like smoke three or four times english blends in it and it will have no ghosting What do we do? So, I've seen many times people trying Lakelands with their worst pipe and not like, like them. Like they, they try them with their worst uh, pipe possible, the corn cup pipe, but the worst corn cup they have. I don't get it. Try it. That this tobacco is in your best pipes. This is my. This is what I do. You don't have to do it, but this is what I do. If I want to try a tobacco, I try it in my best pipe. It's not like 
it's make these tobaccos are making my pipes dirty what the hell you know so i never break in a pipe i just smoke it feel it and smoke it i have never felt a difference if you don't break it in like these people are saying to feel it halfway and then more and more man all kinds of ideas that are complicating your your life that are complicating your life remember people years ago only had one pipe almost all their life they had no problem another tip another thing can you smoke the same pipe 10 times a day of course you can this is what i did with this pipe i smoke at least four or five bowls a day it is in perfect shape after 23 years going on 20 24th empty your ashes first use your temper then poke the ashes and dump them hitting the pipe easily like this and that's it your tobacco won't fall because you tamp it before you dump the, dump the ashes english blend flakes when you buy a tin rub half of it put that uh, the other half in a jar or in a container the the half of it that you rubbed expose it to air for a few minutes open the strands well and put those rubbed flakes over on the normal flakes and leave it for a few weeks then smoke them i have two short videos about these two things they are called latakia tip number one and latakia tip number two One of my favorite tobaccos. It is what is called um, crossover tobacco. Not natural tobacco and not aromatic tobacco. It has just enough chocolate taste, but it tastes more like dark chocolate. More like a chocolate that is not too aromatic, so like a dark chocolate. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps for today. A vintage and old rope and the tobacco, Bob's chocolate flake. I send you all my love. See you in the next video.